In this video, we're going to be listening to some fundamental chords and listening to a single tone that's played above the chord. And what we're trying to get is some skills developed where you can hear a single tone and know what chord factor it is that you're listening to on top of that fundamental chord. So I'll play my C major 7. And here's the fifth. So go ahead and audiate the fifth as well. Sing the fifth. And here's the root of the chord. And you sing the root of the chord as well. So in the case of the fifth, the fifth wants to pull to the root. Also, we have some famous tunes that start on the melodic note of the fifth chord factor. On a major chord, the tune Misty starts on the fifth chord factor. And on a minor chord, the tune Summertime starts on the fifth. So those tunes can also be a help, but we're just trying to hear the difference between the tonic and the dominant. I'm going to play a couple of chords here, and I want you to, when I play the pitch, determine whether that was the root of the chord or the fifth of the chord. So we'll start with an F major 9. The next one's an E minor 9. So the first one was an F major 9, and I played this note. That was the fundamental tone, the root. You can't get any lower than that. You can't go anywhere from that. The next one was an E minor 9. And hopefully when you heard that, you had to make your way down to the root. Right? So that one was the fifth, a B. The next tone we're going to look at is the 7th, specifically the major 7th. So here's a C major 7 chord, and 7th. So go ahead and audiate the 7th. And that's the root. Go ahead and audiate the root. Okay, note the difference. So the root is obviously more final. The seventh generally wants to pull to the root, like a T do phenomenon or the seven to the one. But sometimes the seventh might be just heard as the seventh chord factor. Like itself is a harmonic tone. So there are a couple of select tunes that emphasize the harmonic major seventh. The tune Isfahan by Billy Strayhorn has this harmonic seventh, but instead of wanting to pull up to the tonic, it wants to actually pull its way down. Or the old tune Just Friends has the harmonic major seventh as a stable tone. So let's go ahead and hear some of these chords and see if we can audiate and hear the major seventh on each of these. E flat major nine. B major nine. What about dissonant tones or atonal pitches? Let's look at some of those. So let's look at the flat nine. So the flat nine generally wants to pull to the root, right? It might want to pull to the root because usually flat nines are on dominant chords, and by pulling down, it'll actually resolve to the fifth of its resolution. Okay. So here's an E7 flat nine. G7 with a flat nine. Or... The sharp nine, sharp nine is the opposite side of that alteration of the ninth. So the sharp nine will either want to pull upward to the third as a chromatic lower neighbor tone. Or 
or it might want to pull downwards in a resolution kind of a pattern through the flat nine. again upwards to the third. Let's go ahead and see if we can figure out which of these chromatic tensions that we're talking about. So the first one is on a C dominant chord. And a D dominant chord. Okay, how we do on these? Let's go one by one. So the first one was from a C7. So hopefully you heard on that it wants to pull down, right? Down to the tonic or down to the fifth of the resolution. Down to a C, which would be the fifth of F major. So that was a flat nine. And then finally the last one was from D7. That one could go a couple different ways, right? It sounds like it wants to go up. Right? Or it sounds like it might want to work its way down through the flat nine. At any rate, that was the sharp nine. On a D dominant nine, that would be an E sharp. How about the sharp 11? Sharp 11 has a tendency to want to pull up to the fifth very much like the old tune Maria from West Side Story. The other chromatic tension tone is the flat 13. Flat 13 has a tendency to also want to resolve down. It wants to pull to the fifth if it's over a C major triad. It also might want to pull down to the, a chord tone, which would actually be the ninth if it's in a resolving pattern. So. So on a C dominant chord with a flat 13, it's gonna to wanna to pull down to the ninth of an F. Let's go ahead and see if we can figure out which of these chromatic tensions that we're talking about. F major chord. B flat dominant. Okay, how'd you do on those? F major seven. Okay, that one's way up in the upper structure. It wants to pull up to the fifth, right? Okay, that was the sharp 11. How about a B flat dominant, the next one? We have this one. So hopefully you heard that one wanting to flop down. But when it flopped down, it didn't flop down to the root. It actually flopped down to the fifth, right? Or resolving down to the ninth of the resolution. So that was a flat 13. I hope these techniques are helpful for you and you're starting to gain that confidence in hearing different kinds of tones over different kinds of chords. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Until then, keep practicing.